I went and got Lane on the four wheeler. He finds it as at her best fashion. Yeah, well, I told her I wanted to film her reaction of seeing the cabin. <laughs> oh the my we did goodness. Today. Oh, we Now don't shows. fake it. I promise. And I got Gabriel the high. Hi. <laughs> Not bad for just painting the floor. It'll work, Keller. It's hard to see it. Uh, also, I think I'm winning. Winning at what? I only have one more ball left. Hey, I had to sweep. Then I had to wipe it down with wet water. Hey, I've been working the business. Then I had to go. caulk it. And then I had That's to paint it. No, and my sprayer is going super slow. Have you YouTube? No, I haven't. But not, well, it was eight to your old. Yeah, it's only been used once in the RV. Once. So, um, you guys need to come stay in this place because our hammock is now hung. And it's uh oh, yes. I hung it today. It's awesome. It is great. But anyways, yeah, I got one wall left. Okay. And this is looking good, so I can come help you if you want. I don't know I what can. you can do. There's yeah. nothing you can do. I guess you just came over the hammock. Yeah. All right. I just finished spray painting the floor up here. Uh, it looks really well. I'm using my cell phone, so it doesn't have the best quality, but I really like it. This was super cheap, super easy to do. The paint we used, it's a bare premium. Floor coating, porch and patio floor paint. This is a slate gray color. I think I paid, I don't know, 25 bucks for the can. It applied really well. My Wagner spray paint gun was really slow, didn't spray out very well. I tried cleaning it, checking the air, it still didn't. So now we're gonna let it dry. I think we're done, we're gonna head home. But I'm gonna show you what Lane did. So Lane completely swept the floor, and then she came back through this room and did a second coat of the white stain. Looks really good. Really like how this room turned out. Want some light in here? Yes. That hook for a little I like it. Hot wise. Yeah, I think that's good height. I think that's really where it needs to be. I was going to say, you're not level, Jerry. You got pretty good eyes. <laughs> How does that look? Uh, that looks pretty good right there. I think Rock's up now, two inches. Oh. <laughs> so what Jerry is working on now is our shelves. We're going to have, I think, two? Three? I'm not sure. Not, not that. I think just two. One, and then an upper one. And he's also going to be working on our cabinets. Do you like, do you like my wand here? It's nice. That's exactly what Lane wants. Yeah, we want it exactly the way she wants it. Yeah, I like it. I think Lane will like it. Sand that puppy then. Okay. So we got the second one up. 
I took a picture, sent it to Lane. She has approved and uh, she wanted a third one. So we're gonna add one more up there. I like how it turned out. So originally whenever we told Jerry we wanted open shelving, he was thinking like box, you know, almost basically like what you would build a cabinet, but not have any doors on it. And I said, no, that's not really what we're looking for. We just want a shelf in some way of it supporting itself. So what I love about Jerry is we give him an idea and he comes up with something like he's a creator. And so I love it that we can just say, here's what we're thinking of. How do we create that? He ran a couple ideas across this and this is the one we went with. So basically all you have is your support in the back. You have another support on this wall, which is right here, just a little piece of lumber. And then we just cut two one buys. You know, there's one piece here and another larger piece here. And uh, sanded it all down. You know, he put a support there, support there. Pretty simple, it's not, nothing complicated. to do some sand and came back in and Jerry had this already put up. So this is going to be our countertop. This is going to be our kitchen cabinet countertop area. It's really going to be open, very similar to what we're doing there. We're going to have a farmhouse sink here and then a countertop here made of old barn wood. Our stove is going to go there and the refrigerator is going to go over here. And got laying on the four wheeler, and I got Gabriel to hi. Hi, <laughs> he finds us at our best fashion. Yeah, well, I told her I wanted to film her reaction of seeing the cabin. <laughs> oh, the my we goodness! Today. Oh, we now don't fake it. I promise. <gasps> oh, that is so dark in here. My camera. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hang on. This isn't working. Let me go turn the generator on. Okay, I got the light on. Oh, you're admiring the bathtub? Uh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Like the floors? Yeah, they look really good. I'm just thinking of everything I want to do right now. Like I want to have a board. It's got to be a board that goes across here and like a fresh flower sitting on there and fun little bath things like from a boutique for each person. Sounds good. Uh, Oh, I haven't even seen these floors. Yeah, we just did that. Oh my today. goodness, that's awesome. Like it? I love that. Oh, I don't even want to. It's got to be red sanded, red. but yeah. Yeah, you almost don't want to cover it up. You don't want to cover that up right there. That's a character. The bed will cover up a lot of it. I know. No. What? Dirt. No. Yeah, dirt. No. Dirty. No. Do you like it, Gabriel? Oh, cup. No. He sees cup. You want to grab it? So this will be just sanded down and then will we put like a glaze or anything we over can. it? We can. We can. We could put in a epoxy. Okay. Uh, that, that the that'll make it like smooth where I can mm -hmm. truly clean it. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Okay, so light's going to go there. Yep. Stove here. Yep. Okay. Is that my only shelving? Uh, I'm going to have some below. There'll be some below. Okay. And then the refrigerator. Well, I do want to hang a couple of cast iron skillets right there. That's what I'm uh, going to do there, I think. But yeah, those shelves look amazing. You just did that. Yeah. Once I told him no box and make it open. He just did he that. He just came up with that. <laughs> That's awesome. Yep. Yeah. All right, my go. battery's about dead, but you love everything? Love it. Thumbs up from Lane? Thumbs up. Mm. All right. Lane, mom, mom. Let's go mom. home. I'm going to go some dinner, mom. okay? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tell everybody bye. bye. And so what we're working on now today is finishing up the kitchen. But Jerry brought a, 
called a plate joiner, this little piece of machinery here. And he cut little grooves out of these boards. And then he used these, which he called biscuits, to make these pieces of the barn wood all the same level. As you've seen in our project, it kind of varies. But those biscuits allowed us to get all of this at the same level. So it's flat. Jerry's going to show us one here. So two lines. Reference point to center up that. And a reference point right there. So I can put those lines right on that. It's time for biscuits and gravy. The glue is the gravy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right side. Where is it? Where's that one going? Oh, ah, okay. It might be an impossibility to get in there though. Right. So that's how you join them when you got different sections like that. What we're using. So next is the sink. This is an old cast iron sink. Uh, as far as age, it's not super, super old. I've seen a date stamp on here. Of course, it's upside down. Uh, looks like July 1st of 86. So it's almost as old as I am. That's ancient. Oh yeah. I had some uh, paint. This is the gray paint that we had, that we used upstairs. And I just touched it up on the bottom because our everything is open you'll see the tubs underneath the sink or underneath the, the cabinet or the countertop you'll see that so it was rusted all like this so I just painted it to dress it up a little bit Cords. well I don't know Jerry this thing's almost as heavy as a Tub! <laughs> Back as your turkey was, huh? <laughs> okay. Uh oh, there goes the camera. <laughs> Crashed and burned. No. Oh. Just drop her, you think, or what? Yeah, just let her down. I like that. That's pretty. We went with uh, just chrome fixtures. The reason why was we kind of liked the white on there, kind of old fashioned on that. We got the same for the cast iron tub too. Huh? You see this gap? We got a gap right there. We got a gap. Just kinda, so, kinda the barnwood thing. just caulk it. When you use barnwood, this is, you know, just some of the things you have to deal with. Try and find a way to make it work. Get any 